Hi, I'm Chef Lloyd. Uh, I've been with the Marriott for four years now, and this is uh, uh, at Hyderabad Marriott. Uh, today I'm going to make uh, something which is speciality of uh, for Christmas, that is the plum cake and the speculation cookies. And I would want you to come to HBC, that's the Hyderabad Baking Company at Marriott Hyderabad, and taste for yourself the best which is made in Hyderabad city. Uh, what I'm going to make now is the plum cake, uh, the Christmas cake we call it, or the dry fruit cake also. For that, I've got 250 grams of butter. Plum cake, chef. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 250 grams of butter, is it? And uh, 250 grams of flour, 250 grams of demerara sugar or the brown sugar which is available in the market. Demerara sugar, okay. That's five eggs. That is equivalent to 250 grams. We okay. calculate as uh, 50 grams of uh, one egg is equal to 50 grams. So we got five right. eggs here. So it becomes 250 grams. Okay. Uh, we got fruits, which is around two kilos. That is soaked fruits, dried, dry fruits and nuts. In this, I've got raisins, currants, uh, plum. Okay. And I've got uh, walnut. I got uh, cashew nuts in this, and the tutti frutti what you get in the market. Wow. And this all um, dry fruits and nuts are soaked in rum, brandy, whiskey, and red wine. Wow! Okay. This has been kept for almost three, uh, three to four months now. Uh, yes, uh, to soak this well in advance, so all the flavor has been uh, pulled down by the fruits, so that it gives an amazing taste to the cake. Okay. Along with that, I've got some cinnamon powder, and this is caramelized sugar. Okay. Basically, uh, a paste of caramel sugar. Caramel sugar. Yeah. Okay. It's nothing but the sugar that we get. Is, uh, you have melted it. The same thing. What you use for cream caramel? Okay. Uh, the same. Wow, this is fun, chef. Yeah. Okay. We'll start this, the process, especially in the bakery, starts with uh, softening of butter, adding sugar to it, and then the egg again, one by one, so that it doesn't curdle. And then we mix the dry ingredients, the fruits, and the uh, the flour. Okay. First, I will butter. Butter. Okay. You're going to whisk it now? Yes. Okay. How long do you whisk it, chef? Till it becomes nice and soft. Uh, so you whisk it till the butter yes. becomes very soft. Soft. So next step. Okay. So you're taking five eggs in a separate bowl. Okay. I bake them, but why I do is that it's always uh, very, very uh, safe. Because every time you break eggs, there are chances of the egg shell dropping inside. So you know exactly you can remove that first egg. Oh, okay. So that's a tip. Okay, yeah. okay. It is like even if the shell uh, falls into it, uh, it's okay. We can remove it out. Yes. Oh, cool. I'm adding the uh, brown sugar, the demerara sugar to it. Demerara sugar, okay. Or the caramel sugar. Yeah. I mix it again well. Okay. And how long does it take? It to takes another 5-10 minutes or till it is well blended together. Okay. So average would be 5-10 to 10 minutes again whisking with the sugar. Yes. Okay. Once it is well mixed like this, okay. I add the egg one by one. Okay. So you're adding one by one egg. Yes. Okay. And then again whisk it. Whisk it. Okay. This process again takes about ten minutes. Five ten minutes again. Okay. That's the second second egg. Okay, that's the second egg. The fourth egg I'm adding now. Okay, the fourth egg. Okay. Okay, the last egg. Okay, so if the whisking is done, the whole process took about 10 minutes. Okay. See the consistency, that's the consistency what we have to come to. Okay. Let me put the fruits together. Alright. This is around uh, how two much? Kilos. Two kgs yes. of fruits. Mix it together. 
along with the flour. Okay, maida, all-purpose flour. Yeah. Okay. Once we do that, just fold in, uh, not to mix it, but fold in the flour. Fold in the yeah. flour. So what happens is that we have already incorporated some air in the batter what we have made before when okay. we whisk it. Okay. So in order that air should remain and the, the cake should be nice and fluffy, we don't mix it but we just fold it together like this. Okay, so this is folding. Yeah, All right. this method is known as folding. Now. Okay. Once we are almost done it, add some cinnamon powder. How much would that be? Uh, that's around 5 grams only. 5 grams? 1 teaspoon, yeah. One teaspoon of cinnamon, cinnamon powder. powder. Okay. Tablespoon of caramel sugar. One or two tablespoons tablespoon caramel, caramel sugar. sugar. Okay. This is to just to retain the moisture and give the cake a nice feeling of you know, crunchy thing. Okay. Chef, I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> we are almost ready with it. The dough is ready? Yeah. Yeah. We keep the batter for 15 minutes to rest it and then we put it in a mold and bake at 180 degrees Celsius in a preheated oven. In a preheated oven, uh, 180 degrees Celsius? 180 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes in a preheated oven. Okay. It's always important to keep the oven ready before you put the cake to bake. Okay. Because the temperature which is required uh, shouldn't come below 180 otherwise the cake will sit. It will not fluff it up. Oh, okay. In the meantime, I'm going to just put some keep the molds ready for the cake. Okay. These are the aluminium foil. I line it with aluminium foil. Okay. And what is this round thing? That's the ring mold. That's the baking cake mold. This is a half kilo mold. Okay. And this one is one kilo mold. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Rings are this is around six inch diameter and that's is eight inch diameter. Okay. So when you fill it top, leaving just a little gap on top, it weighs exactly one kilo. Okay. And the, the second one will weigh around okay. five hundred grams. So you need to leave that much gap, a little gap on top of it, okay? So put this tray in the oven, it will come in the, next to the oven. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. so you are going to put this in the oven now? Yeah. Okay. The, the temperature is already set for around 180 degrees, the, uh, the oven is set for 180 degrees. Okay. I am going to bake this for around 25 minutes. 25 minutes, alright. Okay. This is the cake, how it is going to come out. Wow. Once oh my. it is done. Okay. And we add some icing, uh, basically sugar icing. We melt some sugar and uh, some egg white. And then we put on top of the cake like this. Make it into white. Oh my. Place it. This is, this is the uh, sugar icing? icing yeah. Once this is done. Just put something on top so that it looks nice, Christmas in colors. Okay. Oh my. Some jelly beans you get in the market. Jelly beans. Uh, marshmallows. Marshmallows. And? Uh, these are berries, uh, raspberries uh, jelly that's orange. We got some teddy bears, different. Teddy some bear. marshmallows. We give it a nice look like this. Oh wow. oh wow, lovely. Thank you so much for the Christmas cake. Yes, uh, it's been a pleasure to, uh, making this uh, uh, two, uh, two small things like the plum cake and the uh, speculation cookies. I hope uh, I could see more of you coming to the cuisine enjoying this type of uh, Sure, sure, sure. Thank you so much. Okay.